the food machines. All our food finally comes from plants, either directly or indirectly. Plants are special because they do not have to look for food as they make their own food. They take up nutrients from the soil through their roots and the stems carry them up to the leaves which ultimately prepare the food. Leaves Most leaves are green, thin and flat. The green color of the leaf is due to the presence of a substance called chlorophyll. Leaves come in different sizes, shapes and arrangements. Some leaves are made up of many smaller leaves called leaflets. Sometimes the leaflets grow in pairs. They are all joined to a central stalk. This stalk is further attached to the stem of the plant. Structure of a leaf Even though leaves look very different, they all have the same parts and perform the same functions. The leaf has two parts. One, the stalk which joins the leaf to the stem. It is through this stalk that water and mineral reach the leaf from the stem and the food prepared by the leaf pass on to the other parts of the plants. Two, the blade comprises of the green expanded or sometimes reddish part of the leaf called the lamina that houses the midrib and the net-like arrangement of veins and smaller and thinner veinlets. Veins perform the function of distribution of food water and minerals to and from the leaves. Veins of a leaf act like our bones. They keep the leaf blade stiff and flat so that it can absorb maximum sunlight. Edge of the blade of the leaf is called its margin. Leaves differ in size shape of leaf margin they may be smooth sharp or wavy the upper side and the underside of each leaf is different the upper side has a waxier thicker surface than the underside the upper side of the leaves always faces the sun the sun's heat evaporates the water inside the leaf. So the waxy coat reduces the amount of water that the leaf loses. On the underside of the leaf, there are lots of tiny holes called stomata. These help the plant to breathe. Plants can open and close these stomata. When it is very hot, they close them to stop too much water from evaporating. Types of Leaves Leaves which have a single blade attached to the stem of the plant are called simple leaves. A leaf stalk that has more than one leaf blade on it is called a compound leaf. Photosynthesis Photo is derived from a Greek word phos meaning light. Synthesis means putting together. The leaves trap the energy in sunlight using 
chlorophyll. This energy is used to make sugar from carbon dioxide which they get through their stomata and water which is absorbed by the roots. The process is called photosynthesis. Plants use some of the sugar prepared during photosynthesis to grow. The extra sugar is converted into starch and is stored in the different parts of the plant for future use. This is what makes plants a healthy food for us. As the plants prepare their food, they produce oxygen gas. This gas is released into the air. This way, the green plants purify the air. Leaves are not only important to the plants, but also to us. We should not senselessly pluck leaves or break the branches of any tree.